everyone. Welcome back to episode 13 of One Piece Dungeons and Dragons. I'm here as always with Mr. Duros Lost Paws. Hello everyone. I hope you're all having a jolly time. Uh, I'm here with William Teching 101. Hi everyone. I'm the captain. <laughs> I'm here with Verona 2 Spooky. Hey. <laughs> and I'm here with Ragnar Briggs. <laughs> what up, everybody? Um, yeah, welcome, welcome. Last time, if you guys remember, they fought uh, Hemlock, one of the members of the Eight Flames, and she, unlike most people they fight, uh, didn't want to just fight until she died and gave up halfway through because she's not an idiot. <laughs> and... Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she wanted to live um, and made a, an agreement with the crew to help them out uh, just in exchange for her life, essentially. Uh, the crew is still mighty suspicious of her, which is understandable. Um, but now she is, is leading them, I presume, to Chuck, right? That was your guys' goal? Yeah, that's I what we did. So. Yeah, take uh, on the last guy and then, yeah. Right now, the group consists of these guys here, Duros, Ragnar, uh, William, Verona, Louis LeClock, um, uh, Pearl, and Hemlock. So it's it's, it's a big party of <laughs> big party of boys. It, it's <laughs> consistent every week. Louis does something to help us, and every time we do this, I always forget he exists somehow. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he always yeah. comes in clutch by the end of it. So <laughs> I, I slap Louis on the back. It's it, it's you, buddy. You got this. I I do not know. I um uh, I I. Uh, I only can use my powers a certain amount of times. I'm not... I, I feel like I am running out. Um, I, I, I feel that too. I feel like I can only maybe use the roulette powers maybe one more time, so this is going to uh, be fun. <laughs> uh, if I if I take another blow, I, I don't know if I will be able to recover as easily as last time. Because you remember. Yeah, you'll be oh. fine. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, you guys are still ever so slightly wounded, but, you know, not terribly. Especially after... I, I thought you guys would be in a lot worse shape than you actually are. Mm. Mm. I'm only... At, yeah, I'm like nine less than Max. I'm I'm pretty decent right now, I think. Yeah. I guess I didn't even get hit last time. No. So that's nice. <laughs> yeah, you hit other people. That's, that's your thing. <laughs> yeah, I should be shooting my teammates again. <laughs> but uh, as Zeros, you... Zeros, how are you? I'm more concerned. How are you doing? Uh, I'm oh, all right. I... I could say I'm a uh, roughly a 23 out of 31 right now. <laughs> oh, okay, that's an interesting. <laughs> on, on a scale of <laughs> on a scale of one to 31, I'd say I'm about a 23. <laughs> about a 23. <laughs> that's great. We we all have different scales. We just pick random numbers. <laughs> okay. I just like the I like 31. It's a good number. It is. It's a solid number. It's it's 13 backwards, which that doesn't spell foreboding at all. Uh, <laughs> All right. Ooh, that is, and it's and it's episode thirteen. Ooh. Well, time to Ooh. die. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, time to die. <laughs> okay. Um, as you guys are now walking through the forest, um, Hemlock. Is someone staying close to Hemlock to make sure she doesn't just run away? Yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, she looks kind I'm of... I'm keeping my distance with, okay. like, my bag of snakes. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you do yeah, have I'm, the snake I'm gonna bag. Stay, I'm going to stay far from you because I'm terrified of snakes. So I'm, I'm staying... Like, I love you, Ragnar, but I'm, like, going to stay away from that bag of snakes. <laughs> I'm, like, naming them and everything. This is with Henry. Uh, Hemlock goes, you you do know that I've already named them all, right? <laughs> but now they're mine. No, I'm, I'm just kidding, that, Hemlock. Now... They're Ragnars now. You gave oh. them to him. I'm sorry. That's That's his own thing now. She sighs deeply. Oh, how childish. Right. Um, you lost seem to fare pretty well against me. I don't think you'll have too much of a problem against Chuck. He's uh, an imbecile, if I, if I do say so myself. You know what? He, he reminds me of that idiot over there. And she points over to Ragnar. He's like, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you do understand you just insulted our shipwright right in front of, like, me right 
Don't oh, do that. No, again. I I'm so sorry. I meant <laughs> his, not a big deal. His strength, I'm, his strength I'm reminds me of intimidation. <laughs> his strength reminds me of Ragnar's toned body and his um fortitude with an axe if you know what I'm saying. Ooh, Chuck's got an axe. Yes, that's what I meant. It had nothing to do been, with his I've been looking to get myself a new one. Oh, well I mean if murder is on the menu, as it seems to be with you boys. You I, might... I, yeah, that is that is a thing. Well, yeah. actually, not quite true. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we have not killed the last ones, have we? <laughs> no, I mean, we didn't kill. No, I mean, we're on a good track record on this island so far. We didn't kill the kid. We didn't kill you. That's kind of still up in the air. Oh, though, so. so you've already uh, um, spoken to Spruce. Yeah. Yeah, we actually, got, we actually came to an understanding. We used words in that battle, which was very strange. Uh, poor kid. Very nice kid. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I feel sorry for the kid. Obviously. He's, he's with Gravy right now on the ship, so he's, he should be He's okay. with Gravy right now? Poor kid. Uh, I mean, Gravy does make a pretty mean oatmeal. I'm sure the kid... I, I was about to say, I'm a little yeah. jealous. I could go for one of Gravy's signature soups right about now. Ooh, yeah, I think today is what? Today's problem. Thursday? Days, uh, maybe like tomato bisque or something he was whipping Ooh. up. I can't remember. Oh. I can't. I can't read that one. Gravy. <laughs> uh, I don't know whether or not he's an idiot or he's the master of disguise. How long have you known him? Because we've known him for like a few weeks. He seems like a swell fella. <laughs> I I actually don't have a personal relationship with Gravy all too much. He's. Oh, he's you you been... don't know shit. Though. If Gravy's awesome, right, guys? <laughs> I yo yes. I love Gravy. Honestly, he's he's earned my trust. He's a lot um, larger than I when I last saw him. Um, yeah. And we, we flames don't really communicate that often. We normally take different contracts. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. But I am familiar with a couple of my peers. Gravy, however, seemed quite distant, even when he was working for us. Hmm. Do you know why he joined you guys? Well, like all of us, he was indoctrinated as a child. I mean, you right. can't really train an assassin to be loyally part of an essentially an assassin cult if you don't I indoctrinate mean, Ragnar, them as a child. I mean, Ragnar is a member of you guys now, and he just he, he's awesome at it, apparently. So uh, He's got the necklace. Officially. I need to talk to you about that. I... I I I've always disagreed with that rule. I've I've took it up mm. with the leader multiple times. It most of the time people who end up becoming assassins via that rule uh, die very quickly, um, as they have no sense of subtlety. Um, well, well you, I'm but, definitely not that subtle, but I have yeah. no plans on dying today. But Ragnar, my uh, handsome man, if you are serious about taking the place of poor Taco. Um, then we will have to arrange a meeting, um, a candle lit meeting with the leader of the Eight Flames. Looking as long as I don't die, of course. <laughs> I'm like, you're like, ooh, a candle lit <laughs> meeting. You guys are so damn cool. Are you, are you dating? Why the candles? Why the romance? <laughs> Hertha's the only lady for me. <laughs> oh, Hertha, uh... you say? Why, why does that name sound familiar to me? Ah, never mind. Um, it's not too important. Gee. No, very important, actually. It's um, his wife! How could you that, say she is not? That is my wife, but also, <laughs> I believe it's very possible she's on this island, currently captured by the Timberlord, which is one of the reasons we're here. Yeah. Ah, oh, that would make sense. He does have lots and lots of his little workers scattered about. We've, Speaking we've of noticed. which, uh, you guys look around, and when you were traveling through the forest beforehand, there was a lot of wooden yeah. boys chopping down trees and such. Uh, yeah. Now, there's a distinct lack of wooden boys chopping down trees. Are there uh, still trees? There are still trees, but like, okay. uh, just uh, Hemlock kind of looks around and goes, hmm, interesting. It's not uh, break time, she says jokingly. Obviously, there's no break time for these wooden slaves um you guys are monsters <laughs> i you know i just do the job i don't question the morality of the people who lead me 
Mm. Um, I'm just trying to survive like anyone else. Yeah, we don't question Ari's either. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's funner that way. Yeah. Um, is this Chuck guy prone to... Did, did he just like start hacking them apart? Because, you know... He seems to like hacking down trees. And oh, he does. He does occasionally. Trees. He does occasionally hack one or two apart, but it's not his priority. No, um, they wouldn't disappear en masse like this. Um, Weird. She looks up to the sky, and just through the tree leaves, you can see the giant effigy uh, towering uh, in the sky. And she shakes her head, and she goes, Oh. Well, we better we better hurry up then. I'm afraid things might be worse for you guys than you thought. They're gonna light that thing on fire, aren't they? Uh, who, who knows? I'm just saying, giant wooden statue. I just I feel like they're gonna light that thing up. Seems like a fire hazard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it honestly is. We should definitely uh, call the fire marshal or some a fire marine or something about this. Fire, <laughs> fire marine. <laughs> the fire, fire marine. <laughs> yeah. uh, I kind of get in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's the last person. <laughs> All right. How old would I kind of be? Uh, this is what twenty-two years ago. I was twenty-one roughly, years. Like, this is right after Rogers. So this would be twenty-four years ago. Yeah, he'd be like in his twenties. Yeah. 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 Um, it's a little bit before O'Hara. He'd probably be like a vice admiral. Uh, yeah. Hemlock turns to you, you guys, and goes. Lucky that you got me with you. I know exactly where to go to find Chuck, and you guys don't have to navigate this cruel, unforgiving forest. Uh, mm -hmm. Hi. Uh huh. This is um. How lucky! It is quite fortuitous. Thank you for guiding us. See, I like uh this one, Duros. That was your name, correct? Yes, you've got it correct. Another. Astute. You must have a very <laughs> lucky wife. I or husband. I don't judge. I no, nor a husband. No, I don't have that. Oh well. But I do consider you all my friends and family. He does. I love you, Duro. <laughs> I love you too, Ragnar. <laughs> oh well. That's a shame, isn't it? I'm sure you'll find one lucky lady coming up in your future. Or maybe more. There's so many lucky fellows out there that I'm willing to admit it to my family. Oh, Doros, right. you just, you're such, you're too wholesome for this group. <laughs> just wipe a tear from my eye. Yeah, I kind of do too, honestly. Uh, um, Pearl smiles happily as she's walking along. She, she's, Pearl is pretty used to you guys' antics by now, and uh, a lot of what you guys do kind of bring her joy, especially after her kind of troubled childhood where she didn't have a lot of happiness. She kind of does enjoy just being around you guys. Um, and she's smiling. We murder every now and then, but we're a fun group. Yeah, you know? but she's a cannibal, so fuck it, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, That's her uh, character I always often forget. She just straight up eats people. She eats yeah. people sometimes. Uh, <laughs> uh, so she's technically might have been like the most messed up out of I me. Mean, I might have killed that old man, but I didn't eat him afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Louis Leclerc is still kind of freaking out. He, As you guys are still walking, he's like, I, I do not know if this is the time for flirting or jokes. I, I, my, I, I am, I am terrified. I, I can try to, can I do a magic trick to try to cheer him up? What's her, you mean like a card trick? <laughs> I, can, like, I have cards. I do can do a card yo, trick. Sure, do a slight. You're having a hard time, but check out this card <laughs> trick, homie. <laughs> yo, I, I... I'm horrible with consoling people. Yo, I Mr. Mr. Clock, life's too short to be anything but happy, my dude. Uh, okay, do a sleight of hand okay. for your card trick. All right, all right, I, yeah, I pull out now. Yeah, I'll roll, and then that'll determine if I succeed at this, or it, it just... it just. Do a, do a sleight of hand check. Wait, me? Uh, no, why no. Why do we even uh, need to make this guy happy? Like? No, no, no. <laughs> I was I mean, like, wait, what? I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> uh, it, okay. Uh, uh, Louis Leclerc stares blankly through the cards. He does. He seems yeah. to not really care. I'm like, and yeah, pick a card, Louis. Just uh, Louis, pick a card. Yeah, he picks a card. Um, okay. He and I do like a cool shuffling trick, and like I'm supposed to like the guess the card or whatever, like pull it out somewhere. 
And I rolled a 10, so I'll just say, like, I fuck it up, and I, like, drop the card, but I'm like, is this your card? Uh, <laughs> I, I do not know. I, I am he sorry, even William. Look at it. William, I am sorry for being a down here. I, uh, I do appreciate you a lot, and I just, you know, things are rough. Um, I just, I, 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 I just don't want, I just don't want him to die, but I also feel like he deserves death. You ever been in a position like that? I, I mean, I did meet my brother a couple weeks ago, no, a couple days ago, but, you know, I didn't know I had him up until a couple days ago, so, Would do you, you know. Do you, do, do you need to kill him? I mean, it might be possible. He's a Marine. I'm a pirate. At some point, that might happen. But I've literally just met the guy. So you you have more connection with your brothers at this point, with Me. your brother at this point. Yeah. I see you do. Well, he... But uh, we, we could just, you know, wait to see him. And maybe there'll be another option. Maybe there'll be another way to get around killing him. Yeah, this Horrible island seems to be the island here. of options. Look at us. We're, Spruce went back to our ship. Hemlock is with us right now. Things seem to be working out. And from my right, experience, right. as long as you remain optimistic, things tend to work out, you know? Oh, Good advice, Ragnar. Ragnar. I'm so proud Ragnar of you. is way <laughs> better at so motivational speeches than I am. So, yeah, just listen to Ragnar if you ever want a motivational speech. Or yeah. Duros. I suck at it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, William, I have heard of your reputation. Um... Uh, my my brother, he isn't actually an old man. Uh, I only killed one <laughs> old man. All right, I, that's that's something. I, I kill one old man, and the entire Grand Line thinks I've like just massacred an old hope full tome or something. Okay, the guy deserved it. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean that's I kind of. I actually don't think thing. he did deserve it. Uh, <laughs> that's debatable. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, okay. look, he's he's your brother. I'm not going to just immediately kill him, all right? I appreciate that. All right. Um, as you guys continue through the forest, you eventually yeah. reach a clearing, a lumber mill, a huge sort of lumber mill with lots of logs of wood next to it. And you see right. sitting on like a bunch of woods, this big burly guy with a huge, massive beard, like a red plaid um, like shirt, uh, buttoned up, but not just... It shows like the top of his chest, which is really hairy. Um, he's, you know, so he's, he's just the, so he's just the guy from like the bounty paper towels or some like that's just <laughs> yeah. His... Well, he looks like he looks like your most stereotypical lumberjack. Brawny, yeah. He has that you know he yeah. has the big beard and the and the kind of hipsterish hair. I think he uh, he's wearing like a red hat as well, uh, a bit like a uh, like a Papa Smurf hat a little bit. Um, Okay, like I said, uh, he, he sits there sharpening his axe. You do notice he doesn't have any of the small wooden boys around him. However, standing next to him is a huge wooden thing. Like I'd say, mm -hmm. not like big like the effigy. I'm, I'm talking about um, maybe like twice as big as the regular um, wooden boys. Um, okay. And, and he's sitting down. He's, he's sitting down. down we don't know how, and big he, we, how big he is. Well, okay. he looks up and he sees Hemlock and he goes, Oh, Hemlock eh? Uh, nice. <laughs> I was, I apologize. <laughs> I, okay, no, 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 stop. No, keep it up, keep it up. William, got got it. It. William uh, immediately it. doubles over laughing. I, I apologize, like, Briggs, for this. Immediately. <laughs> like, I'm on the ground it, right. laughing for like a good 10 seconds. Are these, uh, oh, hey. What's up, Hemlock? Oh, hey. Are these? I can't do it. It's, it's turning Indian. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did I'm like I, I, oh, the the it's like Pika's voice in the he's anime. Uh, <laughs> um, like, trying to be Canadian there, huh? Are these uh, yeah. are these are your prisoners? It. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hemlock turns around to William and goes, "Do we want to fight him head on, or should we do a little bit of trickery here?" <laughs> but just give me like five seconds. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. Whew. Okay, I think that's our guy. Is that our guy? Is that the dude? Oh, uh, yes. This is this is Chuck. Uh, uh, look, all right. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I can barely see. My eyes are just... I'm crying too much. Okay. Uh, I mean, hey. There's only one of these guys left, and then we got to move on to the Timberlord. So, I mean, if, 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 if Hemlock, if you don't think we could, you know, talk to him and talk him down, I mean, otherwise, what are we supposed to do here? Uh, he's, a, he's a bit um, stubborn. I just... Mm -hmm. I think we will fight him. I just, 
wonder if you want to play dumb for a little bit so we can get enough upper well, hand. You mean the good old pretend to be host your hostages trick? Yes, if you trust right. me, of course. Okay, I... Oh, I don't trust you as far as we could go, I but I, I, I do like a good, <laughs> you know, a good, a good, you know, deception whole thing, like a con. That's that's something I'm good at, you know. That's what I do. So let's let's sure let's let's rock that. Let's go. Um, Chuck pulls out a harmonica and he starts playing it. Okay. <laughs> Great. Um, Great. He doesn't seem super focused on you lot. He's just kind of enjoying life at the moment. Um. So, uh, what would you like me more to say? Sorry, more. I'm picking up some of Louis Le Clock's weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 you just like he does have that ability to like it, he like affects reality with his Frenchness. So if you stay around Louis too much, you uh, okay? Uh, what would you? Uh, well, we we could go with the whole. Uh, hmm, I like one of us. I I don't. I could pretend to be injured or something, and he comes in close, and we like attack him or something. We could do that. I don't know. Yes, he is a big fan of executions. Sorry, what is going on with me? He is a big fan of executions. Um, yeah. We will offer one of you up as a sacrifice and you can surprise him with an attack. All right, let's rock and roll. <clears throat> oh my God, it hurts so much, Hemlock. Why did you poison me with your deadly toxin? And I pretend Hemlock, to fall on the ground. Hemlock grabs you by the face <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> sort of drags your body up to Chuck and goes, yes, indeed, Chuck, my lovable bear. These uh, pirates were snooping around. They may look uh, um, like they could be causing trouble, but they've all been inflicted by my poison. But I know you, Chuck. You would love to do the finishing touches. And he, th she throws your body down on one of the, like a, uh, a bit of wood. Uh, okay. There's actually quite a lot of little bits of stumpy woods that work as chopping blocks, and chopping. Um, and Chuck stands up and goes, "Oh, hey, you know me too well, Hemlock." Pa pause here for a moment. While I'm lying, kind of down, pretending to be like unconscious, I'm gonna activate the roulette. I'm mm. just gonna do that now. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just because uh, yeah. Because I don't trust Hemlock, and I'm going along with this to just get the jump on the dude. But it's probably best to be prepared. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, no, I was... Okay, well, I was typing that in the wrong I, chapter. I would there imagine we me and um, Duros follow Hemlock, kind of, and yeah, maybe... Like next in line. Verona, yeah, yeah. as a next in line, maybe yeah. Verona's a little bit further back. Yes, yeah. 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 All right. Or a different angle. There we go. Three, five, two, let's go take a look. There's a lot of 300s you're getting. Uh, yeah, I've been getting a lot of 300s lately. Double foot roulette. Three, five, two. I hope it's a good one. Oh, Wait, please, did you God. you say you only have one of these left? Yeah, yeah. This is the last yeah, one, yeah. So. Oh, all right. When do you want to I save it for the Timberlord? Uh, it's too late now. Oh, it's all right. Well, yeah, I did it. Let's lock in. Uh, you could turn parts of your body parts into syringes. It's the chunyu so chunyu fruit. Carl, kind of. Wait, sort of. Hemlock has poison. You know. Get some poison from her. Oh, there you go. Shit, right. <laughs> okay. No, you can't. I, you I, can't I can't tell, tell you that. that. Right. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. all right, I activate out the of power. character okay. idea. You have you have, you have so you can yeah you can turn like your fingers into syringes and stuff like that. Is there anything filled with the syringes? No, they're just syringes. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> I, no, no, no. I mean, like seriously though, like air in a syringe injected into oh, your that'll do some damage. You know? Kill people. That can yes, straight up kill people. <laughs> that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. God, that's the first thing I thought of. Oh, uh, Jesus. Um. Uh. Okay. Yeah, it kind so of I sucks, actually. I mean, you're, you're <laughs> okay. No, we'll, we'll, we'll make use of it. Don't worry. All yeah, right. All right. I'll figure out some way to make it work. Um, the as you're as you're lying there. Where, where, where is William? Hold up. As you're lying there, your head on the block. Uh, mm -hmm. Chuck lifts his axe, and I I want everyone to roll initiative, but you get a surprise round because you're going to be taken in by surprise here. So everyone will be able to go first before he takes his first turn. Uh, oh my God, Duros! Duros, why? <laughs> oh, there it is. It's just oh gonna be zero. I mean, it does. It's not like a critical yeah. fail. It's just I'm a fucking lump of armor. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> At least for one. As Chuck's axe comes down, William, you are first to move. You are going to take him yeah. by surprise, which means you have advantage on this attack. 
All right. Uh, I, I was going to just do, like, a fancy flip, but at the same time try to, like, because his arm's going to come down. Can I do, like, a fancy flip and just jam my, my syringe hand into his arm, and that's going to be, like, my attack? Uh, yeah. sure. Okay, so your okay. syringes actually only do a d4 damage. Okay. Um, Might have a weapon. But, but uh, you don't know that, so you would use it, just because fuck okay. it. Yeah. Uh, but you do still do the sneak attack damage. Alright, alright. So cool, it, it, cool. It's two hit would be the same as your uh, rapier, though. So. Alright, here we go. So I gotta roll... Uh, okay. And your sneak attack is... Uh, 3d6, right? Yeah, I believe so, yes. Yeah, so do 1d4 plus 3d6. Actually, no, you... you Yeah, you hit him. No, you miss him! You miss him! 15 misses! What? You, um... Oh, even shit. though you have advantage, 15 misses. So, shit. you, um... As he, as he swings yeah. down with his axe, you, like, flip up. Create needles in your hands to try and go into him. Um, but he, he re retroactively blocks it with the, the, the flat end of his axe. And he goes, oh, hey. Damn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, that Ooh. sucks. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to at least do the, 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 the fancy footwork, the attack and retreat shit. Yeah. I'm at least going to do that. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, disengage. So I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll retreat back probably like over here. -ish. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you retreat back in the opposite direction to Verona, Pearl, and Louis Leclerc for everyone listening. Um, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go back over there where they are. Oh, you wait, yeah. you're heading. Yeah, okay. So, you, sorry, okay, you retreat I'll, I'll next to Verona. Verona, who's yes. standing a bit far back. Uh, technically, all your attacks are kind of going off at the same time. So, Verona, do you want to roll mm -hmm. your your gun? Yeah, am you... I able to get like a shot from here? I'm gonna guess I yes, probably can. Yes, of course. Can, right? You you have okay. advantage, but everyone after um, you won't will not have advantage. Cause... Okay, and I get so would the first attack be advantage since like I get two per turn, or would they both have? Advantage? I think they both have advantage. Okay, I'm just gonna fire two bullets. Oh, all right. Thank God. That that is they that have a critical advantage. fail and a success? Yes, oh. it's a critical fail and a success, and because you had advantage, it's a critical hit. So you hit Chuck that twice. Makes up for me. <laughs> you right, you fire up your rounds. Boom, boom. Second one. Uh, Chuck sees the, <clears throat> the bullets coming, but they take it by surprise. Um, and two bullet wounds hit him straight in the chest. Boom, boom. Oh, eh. oh. Um... Chuck doesn't have his turn because he's still surprised. Um, so it is now Pearl. Um, Pearl is going to run up and jump off the banister of the because he's on a raised platform. He Pearl's going to jump off the banister, flip in midair, take out her claws, and try and claw into Chuck because she's a mad G. Um, she hits with one of the claws dealing 10 damage as she slices down Chuck's chest, ripping the previous wounds open even more. Bloody surprised. Ragnar, you are up. Quick question. I'm assuming I'm no longer in bear form, even though I just used it against Hemlock. Yeah, 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 because you only use it for a couple minutes. So. Okay, yeah. cool. It's been, you know, you walk for yeah, like mine's only we like walk, it's, been, it's gone. Okay. Yes. Um, you know what? I'm good. I'm not even going to go into a bear mode yet. You don't have I'm advantage gonna... because of the way surprise rounds work, because he's, um, we'll go into detail, but you don't have advantage anymore. I do not. Okay. okay. Well, I mean, after getting shot at, I'm assuming I don't have... He's not surprised anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just going to go for a double swing of my axe. Uh, sweet. You you hit him with the first okay. one, but then you critically fail with the second. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, which is going to... Uh, you're going to run up to Chuck, I assume. Yes. So I was pretty close. You're going to, like... You spin around with your axe, I assume. Or... How are you attacking him? I'm just gonna go for my X attack. Oh, okay, you, yeah. You go up for your X attack. Um, X caliber. But what's gonna happen is you're not gonna take any damage from your second one. Instead, you will fall over. So you you hit it with the first axe, slicing through Chuck's chest. Uh, however, as the second axe comes down, you miss slightly, slip over, and you fall prone. Um, you, ah. don't, you don't take any damage, but you are now prone. Oh, boy. Uh... He likes to chop people's heads off. Be careful. <laughs> Chuck looks down and goes, Oh, hey, I see you have an axe as well. <laughs> <laughs> Ragnar, I mean, come on. Like, this is, I mean, we'll all help fight, but this is kind of your guy. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Duras. I will, I will battle you for your axe. It is your turn. <laughs> well, 
I've seen my fallen comrade go up beside him and unsheathe my mighty sword benevolence and slice into him twice. All right. You jump up well, beside not, him. Not, not, not my friend, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would never attack Ragnar. He's my friend. All right. <laughs> Get him, Duras. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I thought I hit it. Oh, you hit him twice. Ah, oh, wonderful. Good. Ah, wonderful a seven. A twelve. <laughs> Slicing him from behind. Uh, really getting into him. Chuck has been oh. th thoroughly taken by surprise and is is quite wounded now, full of wounds. Full of wounds. So quick question. Do I recover six HP? or? Uh, you recover three HP. It's the first attack. Oh, just three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Rounded. Thank you. Rounded down. Um, William, it is your turn. Okay, so this, yeah, that was the surprise round. Okay, yep. wow, that was that surprise <laughs> round. Okay, um, because I'm just gonna take out my steampunk pistol and then shoot him with that. I think because honestly, at this point, you know. Uh, sweet. Go ahead. Yeah. You hit. Okay. Cool. Uh, you don't have the sneak attack damage. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, what do I add on for that? Wait, unless you no, unless you do. Wait, well, yeah, they has they has a teammate. Yes, you do have the sneak attack damage. So you're right. It does 25 damage. Damn, yeah! You Yo, fire Chuck's off the, weak, dude. You fire off Bust the gun. Off. God, you got surprise on him. You you yeah. fire off the gun and uh dealing twenty-five damage into into Chuck's side, he um uh, tries to steady himself. He goes, Hey, I did not expect this. <laughs> <laughs> Neither did we <laughs> Uh Verona, you're up. I'm gonna take two more shots and I'm gonna say, Well you're not gonna expect this either, pal. Me and Verona are standing next to each other. We're just gunning him down. You, you, hit, you hit him twice. You hit him twice. Oh, oh crap. yeah! Uh, oh, well, that's... That's 12 damage. He is not quite dead. He's very wounded. Uh, Hemlock is up. Um, Hemlock uh, looks over to Ragnar and goes, How do you expect me to fight Ragnar if I don't have any of my snakes? Ah, uh, you got a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> true. <laughs> I'm giving you these snakes. I saw Not you yet, at least. Maybe, shit. maybe for the Timberlord. She shakes. She shakes her head. Um, uh, Captain William, I don't know how I can fight a battle and help you guys without my snakes. I'll make this simple. Stab him, or we stab you. Okay, that <laughs> sounds. You know, uh, she runs up. <laughs> runs up next to. Making this really simple for you, lady. She misses. She she runs okay. up with a dagger, uh, swings at Chuck, uh, and misses Chuck. Um, Chuck looks down and goes, uh, "Oh, Hemlock, what are you doing?" <laughs> uh, yeah, did he he's not try? super super bright. It's now Chuck's turn, and he looks around, um, and he's going to use Second Wind. Oh boy! Oh shit! Uh, which is going to restore some HP. He oof, dwells on power within himself and restores 20 points of health. Then he looks down at Ragnar on the ground and he goes, Oh, well, time to go out with a fight, eh? Come on, buddy. Let's get in here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on! He pulls out his axe. He has advantage against you, Ragnar, because you are prone. Gonna swing down with his axe. Oh boy. Three times. Shunk. Oh! I, I can't protect my boy? No, you're not within five feet of Ragnar. Oh, yeah, you put me. Because you're on the other know. side of Chuck, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Feels bad, man. Oh no. Uh, okay. No, you have, well, you have a good armor class, though, Ragnar. What 17? Is it? What is your armor class? 15. So he hits all three oh. times. Oh! Damn. Cutting into Ragnar. Jug, jug. Um, for a to uh, let me do some maths. Quick math. <laughs> Quick math. Do the math, man. I think it's 35. Is it? Oh, wait, I no, I, 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 oh, I forgot. Oh, hold up. I forgot to add it. Oh, shit, I'm so dumb. That's fine. I suck at math yeah. every single time Quick I do math. a video. 35, you're right. Um, Chuck cuts into your body on the ground, Ragnar, dealing 35 points of damage. Jesus! Uh, and he's like, ha 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 This is great, eh? <laughs> I love how the blood comes out, like like wooden splinters, eh? Oh, 
<laughs> He's the most polite executioner ever. <laughs> um. Okay. Um, Pearl, you are up. That's me. Um. Pearl is going to um. Turn around to to Buddy and look over to William and go. Uh, sh should we do something to deal with uh, this big fella over here? Uh, has has it done anything yet? Has it moved? Uh, it looks angry. Yeah. I worry more about Chuck right now, but if you want to go Claude's eyes out, go for it. She had snakes. This guy also has things. Uh, okay. Well, I, it's your... It's, it's up to you, Captain. Should I go after I, Chuck? Aim at Chuck. Aim at Chuck. Aim at Chuck. Go okay. Chuck. Uh, yeah. Poe... I'll make the a decision here. Poe runs round Ragnar's body. Uh, All right. Poe... Uh, clawing... Missing both attacks against Chuck. Shit. Oh, it is now Buddy's turn. This huge wooden monstrosity looks down and goes, uh, brings up his arm to slam down onto Pearl. Oh no, Pearl. Um, I can't protect you. I'm so far. Hits. Knocking Why Pearl unconscious. Not... Oh shit. Uh, Pearl, no! smashes Man, like Pearl runs around like all right Captain said I'll attack Chuck instead she runs around to claw into Chuck uh, for everyone listening buddy is like right next to Chuck um buddy this huge wooden monstrosity slams Chuck uh, slams Pearl into the ground and you know like in anime where someone goes into the ground and it makes like a dent in the ground yeah, and it goes into yeah, sort of slow yeah. motion as they go Phew. that's yeah, what yeah, happens right. to Pearl as her like uh, her limp body is in the ground and then Flutters down to the ground, unconscious. Pearl, no! Buddy screams out. Urgh! Takes a step forwards and is gonna uh, try and slam into Duras. He has two attacks. Uh, Wait, 17? That, that doesn't. I don't think that hits you. What's your armor class? I don't think that hits. No, I got 18. Alright, so he tries to slam into Duras, but you block it with your shield. And he goes. Urgh! Uh, Ragnar, you're up. Ooh. Uh, wait, can I use one of my, uh, because he blocked me, can I retaliate? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, you want to use, use repost? Is that what yeah, you want to use? Yeah, I want to use repost on that boy. All right, so let me get rid of one of my maneuvers. How does that work? Re uh, repost. Hold up. For some reason, Louis LeClock's initiative isn't on in the order. Oh, no. He's just been back there just watching. <laughs> I 100% <laughs> like, thought I rolled for him, but he's there. I, I said it. I did say his name. Yeah, he's just been scared. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, yeah. do your repost attack. Uh, how does it work? Uh, you just do a regular attack. Oh, a regular attack? Yeah, okay. yeah. You just oh. get, if your enemy misses you, you can use your reaction. Oh. Really? That sucks, really? dude. Really? It really sucks. <laughs> I, just, I play a lot of D&D, &D, and you guys critically fail more than any other group I've ever seen. <laughs> like, in my I life. I play the website. Again. I blame the website person. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Um, you get your oh, sword yeah. stuck into Buddy. You, there's no one, you can't really do damage to yourself here, but instead, as you swing into Buddy, you kind of just get your sword stuck into his wooden form. Uh, so, that puts you well, at... Uh, you'll be able to pull it out next turn, but it does put you in a position where people will have an advantage against you just for a turn. Uh, well, dang. You won't be able to protect anyone. Well, I'm not near anyone, so whatever. <laughs> well, you're near enough to Hemlock. Yeah, I guess. God, okay. Yo, I muted myself by accident there. Fuck. What did you say? Oh, yeah, yeah, you were muted. I was trying to remind Duros if he, like, did he heal last turn? He did. When he attacked? I did. He did? It was okay. only a plus three. three HP. Yeah. Uh, Duros, it is now your turn. So. No, it's, it, it's oh, my turn. Oh, it's okay, Ragnar, 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 sorry, Ragnar. Ragnar, 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 it's your turn. <laughs> Ragnar, it's your turn. <laughs> Do something cool. <laughs> Slowly gets up in pain. Cool. This is so sad. <laughs> I guess I gotta take this fight seriously after all. And you see the hair start growing out of my body. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Do I get 10 temporary hit points again? Uh, yeah. I, I did it last time and I lost them. But yes, I'm you get your temporary hit points. Again, so I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You turn into Let's bear. Let's try this again, bear Chucky mode. boy. Cool. I am bear and rage mode. Sweet. Mm. Let's go. Kuma Cross! This could do it. I came up with a new name, guys. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 it's Ooh, awesome. Coming in the background. Sounds awesome! Okay. Uh, you hit him twice. Yes! 
Ooh, how much damage is that? Uh, okay, that's 16 and 12, so 30... 28. 28, yeah, I got right. maths. Nine <laughs> maths. Yeah, that's I, when no, he leaves him on a, on a uh, like a slither, like a slither of health. Um, as you cut into him, he two huge gashes appear in an X formation on his chest, and he he crouches down slightly, uh, holding his his axe in his hand, trembling. Hey, you know how to use that axe, eh? Oh yeah, I probably oh, should yeah. have done that from the beginning. I don't know why. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't take you seriously enough, Chucky boy. <laughs> Um, Duras, your, it's your turn. Well, I'll finally pull my sword out. Benevolence! I know you get stuck in there, you friend. Let me just retrieve you. Uh, Rag and... Ragnar was not raging beforehand. Just because people were saying you should yeah, have taken half damage. Yeah, I was not damage. there or rage mode. I thought no, I took... he was just... That's he why he took full damage. Yeah. And, anyway. and while I am mad at Buddy hurting my dear Pearl, I will try to finish off Hemlock and... Maybe use my second attack on Buddy. I don't know. We'll see. F finish off Hemlock? You mean okay, Chuck, right? Okay, you want to do Not that? Right Sorry. Right <laughs> no, no, either way, Chuck. I'm fine. All right. Chuck. <laughs> I will never hurt the lady. She's on our side right now. Even if she mm, is what it is. For the moment. <laughs> for the moment. For the moment. All right. Well, there um, we go. There's our hit. Yeah, you hit, you hit Chuck. I'm pretty Come sure on. he's dead. <laughs> so. We'll roll your damage just in case. Yeah, all right, all right. He's still critical. Yeah, he's okay. dead. Okay. He's how, yes! um, how do you want to? How do you want to kill Chuck? Um. Hmm. I will. Oh, dude, I don't know. I will merely just stab him through the the head. <laughs> right in the head. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he's currently facing Ragnar, so you're stabbing him through the back of his head because you're on the other side. Uh, yes. Your your blade goes out of his mouth like. <laughs> As the blade is sticking out of his mouth, and he's like, "God damn!" Maple syrup, it you. maple syrup dripping down his chin, ah. uh, mixed in with the blood. Uh, and then he falls down to the ground, dead. Uh, you really fucked this guy up. <laughs> hey, Hemlock! I thought you said this guy was pretty tough. <laughs> no, I, I, really? I actually did say the opposite, but um. <laughs> I, I said that, you know, that's why I didn't want to betray you here, because I knew that I'm stronger than Chuck, and you fought me pretty easily. Yeah. Um, what about, uh, what about, what about the giant tree person? Oh, that's, um, that's just Buddy. I, I think he might get a bit, um, irate now. Um, <laughs> Buddy roars. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, it's like his best friend just died. Okay. Um, um, this is, um, yeah. no, I still have another attack. Yes. Oh, still yes, attack. yes. Now, Buddy, how dare you do that to Pearl? And I get my sword back and I try once more to hit him with my benevolent sword. Oh, oh nice. you hit him. All right, then. Six with damage. mighty six damage. <laughs> <laughs> you chip into his <laughs> wooden, you chip into his wooden body. Huzzah! Um... <laughs> uh, Okay, William, it is your turn. Uh, I'm standing next to Verona, and he he moves after I do. So I just look over at Verona. And I'm just like, let's let's just cap this tree, son of a bitch. Let's just do it. <laughs> and I just like unload, <laughs> just like unload <laughs> into him. <laughs> okay, uh, right, fire up uh, your shot. Wait, shit, where did my screen go? Oh, there it is. Okay, you're within range. It, you get yep, you oh, hit, good. and you have the sneak attack damage because Doris is within five feet of Buddy. So go ahead. You deal 19 damage. Damn, yeah! As, the, as your bullet flies through the air and pff, hits off a bit of the wood. You do notice a little bit of blood trickling down one of, one of the shoulders that you hit it, though. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> hmm. Uh, Verona, it is your turn. Well, as soon as William said that to me, I'm just gonna nod very naturally and start <laughs> firing right after him and just take two shots into the big boy. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm guessing one of them hits. I don't know. They both the hit. First one. Okay. Bet. 16. 16 total damage. Uh, firing rapidly into this guy. Um, blood is starting to be a bit more uh, pronounced as it's dripping down uh, Buddy's body. That's a difficult thing to say. Um, Hemlock goes, I don't think my poison will work too much on these monstrosities, but. Um, 
I will try my best. Uh, she flips up and then just she puts her feet on Chuck's bod like head as she stands there, sort of crushing him into the ground nonchalantly. She, Jesus. she pulls out her dagger and she goes to uh, stab Buddy. Oh, this is the wrong one, but she does hit. Uh, um, and oh, that's the petrifying one. No, too, no, no it? it's the wrong one. I, I clicked them. Uh, it just does the damage. It doesn't do the petrify stuff. Um, the creature um, does seem to be affected by the poison. Um, as actually, he's got to do a con save. For, let's do a con save. Oh, I was gonna. Okay. Oh. Yes, he fails. So he does. He gets affected by the poison. So you see, he, he, Buddy sort of weaken up slightly, stumble back. Uh, it roars out. Louis Leclerc looks over, and goes, uh, "We are we are we trying to kill this thing?" Uh, I, I would I would say no, since it's I would, probably I would one of the. It's, it's, no. it's, is... it's still also probably just a really large person, I would assume, or uh, maybe multiple people on the same thing. I don't uh, know how this shit works. A really but... large person. Hmm. Yeah. Let's okay. try to just knock it. Let's try to get it to the point where we could just, you know, rip the head knock off. Like, like, yeah, knock, knock it out and rip off the face. Not part, rip the know. head off, Captain. Not rip the head off. <laughs> yeah, guys. Not knocking off. unconscious. That is ripping heads off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be careful, because my, uh, my wife and son are, are big boys and gals. So, is, is, well, is this is this wooded creature right here roughly the same height as your wife? <sighs> Similar to Magnus, actually, but like a little bit taller. <laughs> uh. All right. But it has been a, it has been quite a while since I've seen them. Magnus is a right. growing boy. Louis Leclerc right, right. is actually too far away to be able to attack this turn, but he's going to run up. Louis, run, Louis! <laughs> Save Pearl! I shout over. Save Pearl! Ah, uh, that is a good idea. Uh, it's it's the limit I cannot reverse, but I uh, throw me a med kit. All right. Yeet. All right. He grabs Yeet. a med kit. <laughs> Um, Can I roll for eating the med kit over to Louis? <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. You got it. You got it. Uh, Louis won't be able to do that until next turn. Uh, Pearl's going to do, do a the death. the med kit, play some, play some compassionate healing French music, and everything should be good for Pearl. Uh, Pearl fails her first death saving throw. Um, Fuck. Okay. It's now Buddy's turn. Buddy's going to slam down on Duros. Oh, I guess ah. not. And then he's also going to slam down on Hemlock. I guess not. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Buddy raises his two fists in the air and slams it down, but both uh, Duros blocks one with the shield and Hemlock dodges out of the way of the other. And he, Can you do that repose thing? He smashes that! He smashes Chuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> yes, he's, his fist comes down and just pulverizes the dead body of Chuck as he's <laughs> <laughs> mashing it up. Maple syrup just splatters Splatter all over Hemlock. He throws like all over your armor. Um, when Chuck, Chuck. Oh, oh God, poor God. Chuck. I like Chuck, uh, but you really got him. Okay. Man, we slaughtered Chuck. Damn. <laughs> he wasn't. Too, he wasn't a bad guy, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, he just liked to cut people's well, he heads did off. Chuck I mean, people we, off. Yeah. He got kind of weird. There. Yeah. <laughs> um, he kind of was a bad guy. Oh, okay. Well. um... That's that's Buddy's turn. So, Ragnar, you're up. And I'm just like crouched over, looking at Chuck's axe. This is a fine, a fine weapon. It is. It is a very fine weapon. It's uh, specifically made for chopping wood. Oh, it's a, it's a little bit heavier. You know yeah. what? I'll, I'll 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 save I'll save this here for afterwards. I don't really feel comfortable using it just yet. Mm -hmm. And can I go for a non-lethal attack? How would I do that? We just It's a regular attack, you just say it's non-lethal. As long as it's a melee attack, you can do that. Cool. Yeah, hit him like with the blunt end of your uh, axe or something. Unfortunately, oh. you... Uh, oh. Failed both. And critically failed one. Yes. Oh. Uh, I'm going to roll a d4. <sighs> just to decide what that... Uh, there's four things that that critical... You guys do so many critical fails, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, two. Double luck! Okay, luckily, um, you actually are just... You are going to hit Hemlock. Um, nice. Which isn't oh. actually too bad. Uh, if I, I rolled a d4, if it was a 1, you would have hit Pearl. Um, uh, 2 would have been Hemlock. 3, something happens to yourself, and 4 would have been Louis. Um, so 2, you hit Hemlock. Uh, so do the damage. Uh, it just, it'd just be the axe damage. 
so 14. So as you as you spin Whoa. around trying to slice into Buddy, you uh, you miss it. Instead, hit Hemlock in her side. Probably just as she's dodging over from Buddy's attack, um, she gets in the way of your swing. She goes, oh, that's... Oh, Ragnar, watch where you swing that blasted thing. It doesn't matter how big your axe is if you don't know how to use it. <laughs> my bad, I wasn't paying attention there for a second. I was reading, I was reading my ability. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm blocked. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to not kill. I don't know how to not kill. Um, <laughs> okay, Durus, it's your turn. Well then, I, I must avenge Pearl, but I do not wish to destroy this bad creature. I shall also swing my sword at it, as benevolence will guide it to its rightful fate. Huzzah! Yes. You hit. You hit both attacks. Non-lethally, I assume. I don't know if you're gonna... Non-lethal, of course. I don't know if you're gonna finish it off here, but... Uh... Uh, no. Right? You don't. Um, but it is very weak. 21. Huh? What did you say? 21 damage. 21 damage. 21. Okay, I thought you said 41. Yeah. I was like, what? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you, <laughs> you slice into this wooden creature with two quick swings of your blessed sword. Um, blood splurting out of it. Um, it is... It's not lethal blood. What? <laughs> okay. Well, it's only non-lethal when you do the final blow. So, um, it, is, it is very, very weak. The next attack will probably finish it off. William, you are up. Reminder, you can't do non-lethal with ranged attacks. Non-lethally shoot it in the chest. Yeah, you can't. You can't do <laughs> non-lethal with ranged attacks. All right, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll move closer, but I don't even think I can get... Wait, hold up. I can I can measure it. You, yes, you can get close enough. Okay, so like right here? Yep. Like right next to Yeah, right next to Doris. Okay, cool. You can run up, run and up to Doris. I'll, I'll take out my cutlass, like do a spin through the air and just try to like, with the blunt end, try to like, hit it on the head or something. Yeah, knock it out. All right. Go ahead. Cool, cool. Let's Roger give it a it. shot. You miss. Damn. Yeah. B barely. I, yeah. I. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use the lucky on that because I. I only have two of those left. I have to yes. make those last. You. You okay. smack into the creature's head, uh, but it just doesn't do anything. He sort of looks over at you, annoyed. Uh, Verona, it's your turn. Reminder. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I can make it over there, right? Um, I don't think there's anywhere for me to stand. Uh, no. Per not Pearl's for you. unconscious. Pearl is <laughs> unconscious. Just... You can stand can over her body. Pearl? Yes, you can. Okay. But I'm just going to go over to Pearl, and I'm just going to take the medkit from Louis. Louis yes, yeah, you run him. past Louis. He, like, batons you the medkit. Hot potatoes! <laughs> All right. Yeet! All right. All right, do the... Um, it's 2d4 plus 2. Okay. That's going to take your entire turn, though. Yeah. No, you oh, have to roll it. Know. Slash roll. Oh, right. Buddy poison too? Roll. Did he take poison damage? He did. He did. It, okay. it, it, it's not an um, overturned poison. It's just a big burst of poison damage. Oh. Do it right. It does, yeah, it doesn't work like in Pokemon. I was weirded out by that first or two. Uh, yeah. Wait, Some I just do, got two critical successes, right? Hell That's yeah. the max I can do? Yeah, it's the oh, max you can do. Yeah. Uh, Pearl comes back Good. with 10 HP as her eyes open. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Um, Welcome back, Mad G. Gee. Woof. Mad G lives. Uh, to bring you up to speed, Chuck is literally pulverized uh, like everywhere. Oh, that's gross. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like literally uh, you. Was yeah. this Ragnar's doing? Probably. Not this time. <laughs> this time <laughs> are are you hungry? Completely. It's very, yeah, it's very unappetizing, it's I have to admit. It's actually mostly the buddy's doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see the blood and, and Chuck's little body bits all over Buddy's arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, jeez. Um, all right. Um, it is Hemlock's turn. Not lethal, Hemlock. What, do you want to just <laughs> knock this thing out? Why not kill it? Not lethal, it. Hemlock. <laughs> she looks around and goes, You lot are crazy. Why do you want to knock this thing unconscious? Because you're working, you're helping us right now, and we're telling you, because it could be. Ragnar's family. Regardless, it could be, it could be an involved. innocent it's slave, even if it's not. Regardless, yeah. There are right times to kill, and there are wrong times. Yeah. Hemlock. I thought you. I thought Hemlock, you were pirates. If you, if, Hemlock, but... if you do a lethal attack, I will chop you to bits. Right. You'll do it. I've seen him kill for less. All right. Much less. <laughs> um. I, I guess she she takes out. Uh, she wipes the poison off her dagger. Uh, she hits. This doesn't actually uh, finish him off because 
it's just a dagger. Six damage makes the body really, really weak. But without the poison to accompany it, it doesn't finish body off. Um, so she slices into body, um, trying to like aim for uh, non-important organs and stuff. And she uh, doesn't quite finish it. Body is still up and alive. Louis Leclerc is up now. And Louis goes, uh, Louis can make it. Uh, Captain, so I mean, William. Not lethally, Louis. You want me to finish? You want me to finish? <laughs> just take him out off? your rapier. It looks really weak right now. Just take out your rapier. And just kind of like smack him on the head with it. I don't know. Okay. Or like leave it in the leave it in the scabbard and just hit him with that. Okay. Louis Lecoq runs up, pulls out his rapier, uh, hits, uh, and knocks body unconscious with this. Uh, body flies <coughs> backwards, falling unconscious. This huge shamble of woods. This giant wooden creature. Anybody anybody want to say it? I can say it. Ragnar, you want to say it? Timber? In unison. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, Timber. 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 Um, body. Oh, that could be possibly your wife or son. So sorry to make fun of that, but, you know. When you guys, <laughs> have, when you guys have seven people on your side, you really have the upper hand. Um, yeah, I'd say so. All right. Body lays there. Um, the huge, all of the wooden thing slowly loosening its grip on his consciousness, um, falling off his body. <laughs> Ragnar. Do I recognize? You recognize him. This huge, him. like, seven-foot boy. Your, your son. It's <gasps> Magnus, unconscious Magnus! on the ground. My boy! Uh, Louis, <laughs> Louis, play the most compassionate. You're uh, like, like a seven foot. You. Your seven foot, like thirteen year old son. <laughs> is he's is, quarter? He's quarter giant. <laughs> guys, this is why he's so big. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> yep. There you go. Oh, Magnus. <sighs> like he's unconscious he's, right now. Right? He's definitely unconscious. Uh, he he uh, has longer hair than you remember, probably because he hasn't cut it in a while. For obvious you've, reasons. you've grown so much. You've grown up so much, it's the last time I've seen you. <sighs> but he's still laying I missed you so much, my boy. Um. Uh, we throw, I, I throw one of the med kits too, because I think I had one. I throw it over to Ragnar, like, if you want to, here, heal, heal your son if he's, like, injured. He's probably bleeding all over the place, you know? <laughs> yeah, do you want to, do you want to heal him up? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How do I do that? What do I roll? Uh, That's 2d4, right? Yes. 2d4 plus 2. Okay. You start treating his wounds. You guys got to keep track of how many med kits you have left. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You start... well, I used one just now. I'll, like, I'll, I'll deduct two. that from the Yogi two, 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 two have been used this fight. Yeah, two have been so used this fight. There two in this fight. All right, hold on. Let me, let me pull uh, that up. As you um, treat his wounds, his eyes slowly open, and he sees your face. Um, can, he, can I just ask you a question? Did you have your... How long have you had your eye patch for? Ragnar. Um, Did that happen in the attack on your village? Or was that like... Have you had... No, no. Patch? It happened in a bar fight. Okay, so he knows nice. you have an eye patch. I, but I don't know. I would, I would imagine it would have happened a little bit earlier, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he knows you have an eye patch. Okay. So he opens his eyes and he sees you. And he goes, Father. In his gruff, manly voice. A lot manlier for a 12-year-old um, than you would expect. Um... And he slowly lifts up his muscular arm to touch your face. Is is that you? Magnus, my son, it's me. It's Ragnar. Uh, where am I? What happened to me? He says, he's, you have to remember, he's still a child, even though he sounds like he's 40. Um, and he is seven foot. Shit, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't matter anymore, Magnus. I'm here. I'm here. It's all going to be okay. A, a, a tear sort of falls down his face. And he goes, I was so scared, Father. I'm so glad. I know that's not manly of me to say. I know you wouldn't have wanted me to be scared. But I Magnus, was so my son, scared. all men get scared sometimes. I've been scared ever since you and your mother left. 
Duros is just crying in the background. So I, I, am, I, <laughs> I think we're all crying right now. Yeah. Where, I do want to like, make the mental note. I am going to just be glancing over at Hemlock while this is happening, just in case. I'm keeping my eyes on him. <laughs> Hemlock runs up and kills Magnus. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just, I don't know what's going to happen, all right? I'm, um, I'm just saying I'm ready. Um, yeah. But I, we're crying a lot. Mother. Also, Rustage. Yes. I, this little little pointer going forward. I, I, I always imagined Magnus's voice would not match his body. Like it would You be wanted to have a high-pitched voice? <laughs> yeah, because he's 12. Okay. He's 12, but he's, but got, he's got the body a of a like okay. five year old he, you know? He coughs. He coughs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, father. <laughs> That's it. I, All I can picture is this long-haired really... Joe Throat laying there. <laughs> it's just like that oh, stone yeah, guy. Yeah. Uh, Dolph Flamingo guy. Yeah. Yeah, this, this it's Pika. Thing. Yeah, it's Pika. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's Pika without the shoulder spikes. That's pretty much who this is. <laughs> yeah. I, st I still had some, like, some of that wood in my lungs. Where, where is mother? I, d I don't know just yet, but that's why I came to this island to find you two. Where, where are we? A lumber mill, maybe a pancake maple syrup factory. I'm not sure. Mm. Who? Sorry, I ruined. There's definitely one pancake. Magnus, <laughs> oh, looks yeah. over an, an, island island looks far, an island far from home, my son. What? But don't worry. Who, 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 who are, who are these men? These oh. men, these men are my family. They're my friends. I wouldn't have been able to get here and save you without them. I owe, I owe them everything. He looks up to you uh, and he goes, if, if they're your family, are they my family too? Can I trust Yes, them? Agnes. Of course! You could, you... The family of Ragnar is a family of us. Yeah, I don't know, uh, the, the grammar there wasn't perfect, but point is that, yeah, it's okay, kid. You're... I... I oh. I'm so happy. I, it was an endless nightmare that I was I was stuck in. I'm I'm sorry for making you worried, Father. It's okay now. We're now that we're together. The past doesn't matter. Here, Magnus, I have a present for you. My axe. He he. I was gonna give it to you. I was gonna give it to you when you turned eleven. <laughs> he grabs your axe and goes, Father. This is. The best present I've ever gotten. Passed pass down. Passed down to family for generations, my friend. My, my son. He, he holds the axe quivering in his um, hands. I won't let you down. I will be as strong as you are. A rag. Father. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's so you much. don't need to speak. You don't need to speak. It's okay. Just rest. Just rest. Thank you, everyone. I I love you, son. I love you too. I, I lean in. I, I and lean I in love all of you. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, I lean in. Yeah, just, we just do a big group hug. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, that's nice. Big that's bear nice. hug. I like even grab Hemlock and like smother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hemlock. Yeah. Hemlock. Hemlock's like. No. Hemlock looks off nonchalantly. She's like, yeah, great, great, father, son, love. We've all seen this before. Anyway, we should get going before they light that effigy on fire. Uh, when is that supposed to happen? Magnus goes, effigy? And he, he looks up and he can, you can, just sort of looking up, he can see the giant, uh, huge wooden statue. And she goes, oh, what the hell is that thing? Something no, not no good. need to worry, my son. We we're, still have gonna, we still have some work to do to get your mother back. We're gonna take care of it. She's in, in that moment. I'm hold I'm holding Chuck's bigger axe. Yeah, yeah you think no, Chuck's still, bigger axe. It, it does an does extra it, plus D4 damage, and on top of that, oh, it does twice yeah. as much damage to <coughs> wooden things. Hell oh. yeah. Um. That that seems like that would work on this particular. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's well, wait, effective. it's 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 made out of people that are the wooded people, right? So we probably shouldn't... Well, we haven't gotten close enough to it yet. That was just an assumption we no, made, I think. No, it, yeah. it's got people inside of it, but it, it itself oh, okay. is just wood. Oh, it's just wood. All right, it's not, like, made out of the wood people. No, no. Okay, cool. God, that would be fucked up. That would be really <laughs> fucked up. What kind of weird DM god would do that? Like, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, All right. Yeah. Tis I, lean in, I lean down to Magnus, and I... Want to see a card trick? I suck it. I, I, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's come. Like, you don't have to do the card trick. It's cool. Okay. <laughs> um, Magnus looks up at Ragnar, like seeking approval uh, for the <laughs> like 
like should he see this card trick uh, they're, they're fun they're okay. fun okay show me, <laughs> show, show me the show me the card trick i'll do the i'll do the card trick <laughs> do, a, do a slide of hand this is, my, this is my only thing that i do um yeah it's amazing all right, He's all right. Like, I finally pulled it off. I wow. finally pulled it off. Oh my god! I did. So I you found a wizard? Yeah, what? I like like pick a card, pick a card, flip, 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 whip, whip, and I'm like, poof, the cards are gone, and I'm like, now Duros, take off your hat. Ah, which one? <laughs> I don't know. It's like he, he starts taking off like three or four hats, and then finally at the very end of it, there's a card, and I'm like, Duros, the card, please. Oh. I hand it over, <laughs> and it's and I just I show it to everybody, and it's not an actual poker card. It's just ha it's a blank card that just has Hemlock is going to betray us all written on it. And I'm just, ah, that's the ultimate card trick, and I just make that poof and disappear. I'm like, okay. wow, a magician. What I was working on that all day. I was hoping that that I would be a get a chance to do that. What 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 is your name? Uh, uh you, William. You could just call me Will uh, or. Where, if you wish, I don't. I don't. Uncle You've William, been, it's nice to a lot. Uncle William, it's it's nice to meet you. No, 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 not so, Uncle. So, I, that's too much responsibility. He, he You're slowly, kid. Magnus slowly stands up, and as yeah. he stands up, you notice how he towers over everyone else, including oh, Ragnar. Yeah, he's just oh, he's huge, and he looks down, and he's like, "Thank oh. you, everyone." You're, I, you're very welcome, son. Uh, I just kind of, you know, <laughs> good job, good job. Um. I really appreciate you coming to save me. I, I, I'm I'm happy that right, my I'm happy. I'm sorry. It's it's a lot. It's okay. You've been trapped. How long have you been trapped in that thing? Do you even remember last time before this all happened? It would have been like right when did you leave? It would have been like two or three years ish, right? Yeah, yeah, it's been a couple. It's been a couple years. Damn. Yeah, I think yeah. I think Magus was nine. Yes. When I when I left, and, and he's now 12. he's like twelve. Yeah. So that'd be yeah. three years. Damn, three years is almost trapped in that. Crazy. Uh, well, it's your choice. I mean, you could come with us to try to rescue your mother, or you can, uh, you know, you, I, we have a ship. There's a guy. He has food and stuff. I mean, either way. I would not be a Chad if I didn't try and rescue my mother. Cha ha ha! I love to hear it, son. He's what? your kid, Ragnar. <laughs> but let us lead the way. Just, just come for support, okay? You've been through a lot. I, I know. He ties... And these are some powerful foes we're going up against. Um, he's he ties up his hair into like a like a back ponytail because it, it's gotten long over the three years. So he ties it up. Um, Badass. Um, and he sort of like wipes away the tears on his face. He slaps himself. He puts, he holds the axe in his hand, and he goes, "Father, I will not let you down." I'm so proud. <sighs> he does. They have grow like, up so fast. He does have like 10 HP right now. Um, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Carl's okay. not in great condition no, either. He, we're all beat to shit, but let's go fight the strongest guy on the island. Uh, 10 HP is uh, not that far off his hit point maximum. Uh, All right. Yeah, I'd imagine he's not like uh, he hasn't been okay. training. Yeah. Rustage question. Uh was there because I looked on the Yogi Poos page and I did not see the med kits there. Well they... I mean someone took track kept track of them. Oh okay. I mean, yeah, I think we had like ten, right? Like so we no, we have... wait, right now. I think we have less than that. Yeah. We have eight now. Eight now. We you have, guys eight have eight now. now. Okay, let's just say eight. I'm writing it down. That's one of the things I kept track of the bellies, but not of that. I have it. I have it. I have yeah. it now. Thank you for picking up my slack there. Okay, cool. I also okay. had to write down my wife and son's name so I didn't forget. <laughs> that is fair. Oh, yeah. That is fair. Um yeah. I have a little cheat sheet what all your guys' positions are on the crew that I can <laughs> so that's cool. So Verona, you're the navigator. The, the, the navigate navigate us to the location of the Timberlord. Uh, I mean, yeah. it's probably by that really big thing, so let's go that way. Good job! All right. <laughs> uh, yes, so. we've, we've got to get going if you guys really want to put a stop I, and save yeah. your your precious wife. Well, first off, okay, yeah, I, Pearl, I, uh, we, have, we have to give another med kit to Pearl, because uh, she is really big. I've, I'm uh, fine. No, you need it for yourselves. I'm not, okay. I'm not as right. important as, you, as you, you guys. Cool. I, I promise. Anybody else? Any right. med kit that Listen, I if, would need, if I, go, I bestow upon you. No, 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 no. If I go down, it's okay. We don't lose that much. If you guys go down, it's it. we lose a lot more. 
Um, I know out of character why you're doing that, but it's like Pearl. You mean the world to me. Low of yourself. (laughs) That's where you're wrong, Pearl. We'd lose another member of this family, and that's not happening. (sighs) We're not losing another Adam. That was our friend. Louis Leclerc raises an eyebrow. Atom. Who? Who who is that? After this is all over, best man that ever lived. After this is all over, Louis, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna tell you the ballad of freaking Adam, Adam the cowboy. Uh, he was a bomb cowboy. Yeehaw. But all right, oh, let's um. Um. So wait, how many we're we using? Can we just, like use them all? I'd imagine. Or clo- like wake one we off. We should save some. We should save them all. Okay, you know, I, like, I, I mean like a lot of them. I meant like no, a lot. Like, all of them. God. Okay, so we have eight. I'm. Yeah, I think- I, I'm only down nine for my maximum. I'm. A, I'm okay. Like so, I, I'm literally max HP again. I have not been flicked this entire time. <laughs> I have. I didn't get hit that entire battle. Like I'm actually playing my character as a rogue now. It's actually been working out. Swimming yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's great. Yes. <laughs> I think we should use probably like a maximum of three. However, you want to divvy them up. All right. I. I, I then we'll I have feel, five for the big fight. I would feel comfortable giving at least one to Pearl. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, we, and Ragnar's pretty low too, right? Yeah. yeah, Ragnar, Ragnar, oh, lose yeah I got I fucked up. Okay, let's give two to Ragnar, one to Pearl, and that'll leave us with five. Let's do that. Okay. So five med kits. All right. Um, I'll I'll do the rolls. Okay. So, uh, two D four plus two, right? All right. Mm-hmm. So that's that's that'll be Pearls. So let's do seven for Pearl. And then um, these two will be for Ragnar. Whilst you guys are rolling your health, Louis Leclerc turns uh, to Hemlock and goes, uh, "Hemlock." I have a question. There's something that's been... That'll be 12, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so 12 for Ragnar. You get that back. Okay. Uh, Is I... that good? Yeah. That should be good, right, Ragnar? Yeah. If you want to do another one, yeah. we could do another one. So uh, it's 28, I'm at. And, yeah. 28 out of 61. Um, do you want to do, do another one? For me, How many do we have left? We have, we have five, five left. We can, we can waste. Yeah, we can it's not, we, this is a big battle. I'll absolutely it's use not, one more. It's not wasting. This is this is good. All right, yeah. we'll do another one. Okay, okay, that's good. You get seven for that one. Cool. Okay. Um, so 35. 35. All right. Lyrilla Clark turns to Hemlock and goes, and look, uh, something's really been bug- bugging me. Um, I, I left the island uh, a few, uh, I'd say like a few weeks ago, maybe a month or so. And I came back not that long after to scout out. And you, Chuck, Spruce, you were all already here. Um, it uh, seemed really quick. Um, uh, can you just tell me how long have you been working for the Timber Lord? Uh, y- yeah, sure. Um, I- I've been working here for like a- at least a year or so. Uh, Louis Leclerc sort of looks very troubled down at the ground. A uh, year. Ah. I I see. Um. And okay, Hemlock, Louis? Hemlock looks over to you guys and goes like, "What? What? What is up with that one?" <laughs> I I mean, uh, we just French. ran into. Him. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's, he's from this land called France. We don't know what's up with it. Uh, <laughs> wow. Ah, huh, well. You know what? You know what they say about people from France. I, I no, I actually don't. No, it doesn't, like, it doesn't yes. exist. <laughs> He's the only one I met. <laughs> um, right. Well, we need to get a move on. You guys done yep. patching up your wounds? Yeah, we're good. I just want to check on one more thing. Hey, Magnus, just throwing this out there. Could you? Are you a doctor? We need one for the crew. Just yes or no. It's cool. <laughs> Every time I run into somebody, I'm like, "Are you a doctor?" I'm a lumberjack. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we're, 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 all right. You're the cruise lumber for right now. Let's just go. I'm a, all right. Uh, my my dad's teaching me how to was teaching me how to uh, make make houses and such. And um, I'm a manly uh, man. I I can win arm wrestles against most of the people in my village. That might come in handy. Magnus, when you swing at a person, just pretend they're a block of wood, and you'll you'll do just fine, my son. Oh yes, perfect. Oh God. Ragnar is a dad now. This is going to be so damn funny. <laughs> Dadnar. 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 <laughs> Hashtag Dadnar. Yes. Dadnar. Okay. <laughs> oh, All no. right. Let's, let's get moving then. Okay. Okay. All right. So you guys get moving. So ignore this map. Um, 
you guys get moving as a group and you you I, I imagine rush to um the scene of the of the effigy because it's time time is running short I, i'll name this episode dad now um yeah i got to be <laughs> God damn it. um as you guys are, are rushing through the forest you eventually uh reach this the this massive clearing and uh, with lots of weird religious like totems and decorations and such and Ooh. standing in the center of this clearing is a huge wooden effigy it's way bigger now that you're at the bottom of it it's just humongous um and uh sits uh, like on his knees looks like he's praying uh to the effigy um a a torch in his hand you know, like a thing oh, with fire on it, um, is this old-looking fellow, this white hair. Um, you know, I guess you can't really see, you can only see him from the back, but he, he you know, he's old. He's old-looking, praying over. And Louis the Clock takes, like, a, a, a tentative step forwards and goes, uh, br- brother? Uh, and the old man turns around and he does look freaking old. Mm. And he goes, Who's there? His clothes all decorated. It, he looks like, imagine if the Pope, but it was like nature. <laughs> nature Pope. Oh, um, nature green Pope. Uh, okay. Nature, nature Pope, pope. right? Um, okay. Like in a religious garb, he's got like leaves and stuff all over him. All right. And he, he, he turns around. There was a Yu-Gi-Oh card that who, was like that once. Who go... He stands up and he walks slowly towards the group. He sees Hemlock and he goes, Ah, Hemlock, these some prisoners, oui? Um, you can immediately tell he's Louis' brother by the way that he speaks. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> um, right? okay. Louis steps forward and goes, Don't ig- ignore me, I, uh, brother. And he looks over and locks eyes with Louis and goes, no, my brother, he disappeared 20, 30 years ago. Who are you? You are an imposter. And Louis, Louis goes, what are you talking about? What's, well, this is impossible. What's going on? Dramatic French music is playing, black and white. Huh? Uh, I, d- I do not know. We got into an argument and then you disappeared. And I knew I had to re- repent for my sins. I don't know why I'm saying you. You are obviously not my brother. The gods took him away from me. He disappeared. And I need to pay for my sins. But brother... Every time... <laughs> How come every time I run into somebody's brother, something like just starts going crazy and starts shouting? <laughs> Damn it. I... I do... What's... What is going on? But, uh, he looks around desperately, looking into the into the eyes of you lot. He he's scared. Um, uh, Pearl pipes up because she's the smartest <laughs> of your group. Yeah, that's just be straight up here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Louis, do you think you might have accidentally accelerated time for yourself? Uh, in a panic 20 to 30 years into the future. And Louis looks around and he goes, no, that is impossible. I can only reverse time. And it's only on small things like me, my... S- no, there's, there is no way. And the old man goes, ah, this, there is. The gods took my brother from me. And you lot are imposters. You a lot of sinners set here to test me. Emlock, uh, you have sent these to um, to be executed, yes, to be put in the effigy. And he points up at the effigy. And as you guys are closer to the effigy, you notice that there are thousands of bodies stuffed into the wooden exterior of this effigy. Just thousands okay, so of them squirming the around. Same thing as the- <laughs> yes, they're just sort of, and they're like reaching out. They're screaming. You can you can start to hear their screams now. Oh, um, crap! 
uh, ah! <laughs> um, uh, I Rod- lean over. I lean. I lean over to Duros, and I'm like, I think the old dude's a little bit, you know, got a couple marbles loose upstairs, buddy. I don't think he even has marbles. <laughs> yeah, Timberlord. <laughs> Timberlord, look at this. And I like, I cut myself and look at the clock to like heal it. The clock looks over to Ragnar and sort of shakes his head, and he's like, I, I do not. This is a, I, I can do this in. He holds his hands up and sort of reverses the, the time on it. Yeah. And um, the Timberlord looks over and goes, See that? Your brother is the only one in the world who could do that. And you know it's true. My lord, why are you trying to test me with these sinners practicing their witchcraft? Oh, my shit. brother could not do this. This is proof that he is not my brother. And now... I realize what my final mission must be. He um he puts his arms right. up and his and his body flies backwards and attaches himself to the huge wooden effigy. Oh, then shit. all no, of a no, sudden no. the huge no, effigy no, no. starts moving. No, no, no. This giant <laughs> creature leaning over its arms moving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, Step. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> and you hear this echoey voice. It is time for retribution. I look down at my gun and I just compare it to this damn thing, and I'm like, oh. um, guys, it, gentlemen, it has been an honor being on this crew with all of you. If we don't make it out of this, I love you all like a family. <laughs> don't worry, William. That guy's old. You can take him. <laughs> Chop. <laughs> That actually inspires me to do this. <laughs> wait, wait, you're right, Verona. You have a good point. Um, Let's do this. Um, and as um, the battle begins, bam, to be continued. Yeah, hell yeah. Jesus.